In this lesson, I'll show you how to solve trigonometric equations using identities. This is part five. The difference between this question and the previous four is that here we look at rating angles, whereas in all four of those examples in the past were in degrees. The question reads, solve the equation and limit your solutions to angles between zero and two pi. The equation is cosine two x plus sine x is equal to zero. As the title implies, we have to use identities to figure this out. So what I will do is convert cosine two x using the identity shown underneath, which is cosine of twice an angle. In other words, one of the double angle formulas. So I'll replace cosine two x with one minus two times sine squared x. We have one minus two sine squared x plus sine x is equal to zero. As you can see, this sort of looks like a quadratic equation. If I were to rearrange this, where I have minus two sine squared x plus sine x plus one, it appears to look like a quadratic, where this is x, and since it's squared, it should be x squared, this is x, and that's plus one. Now, of course, I can multiply the left and the right side by negative one, that will get rid of this leading negative number. So we end up with positive two sine squared x minus sine x minus one is equal to zero. Now what I have to do is either use the quadratic formula or factor this like I would factor a quadratic equation. For example, to factor a quadratic equation where the leading coefficient is greater than one, we multiply two and negative one together, we end up with negative two. And then we find two factors that multiply to negative two and add to the middle term. Those two factors are negative two and positive one. Once we find these two numbers, we will decompose the middle term where we have two, and remember, I'm not gonna use sine just so that I don't get confused, I'm gonna use x. I have two x squared minus two x plus one x minus one. In case you're curious, this technique is called factoring by decomposition for this exact reason where the middle term gets decomposed, gets broken down. Now I'll factor by grouping these two terms. There is a two and an x in common, and we're left with x minus one. And for these two terms, we have x minus one and a plus one out here. Factoring this one more time, we end up with two x, plus one, this and this, and x minus one. We can now solve each of these brackets individually. If I set two x plus one equal to zero, I end up with x is equal to negative one over two, because taking this positive one over makes it negative. And over here we end up with x is equal to one. Now remember what we set x as, we set it as sine x. So now we will deal with sine x is equal to negative half, and sine x is equal to positive one. Remember what a sine wave looks like. I'll draw it out for you. It starts off at zero and zero, it makes its way up to its maximum point, then back to zero, then to its minimum, and then the cycle ends. So it reaches one, let's call this one, between zero and pi, which is pi over two. So the answer here, one of our angles, is pi over two radians. This one is the more tricky part. We have a ratio that's negative one over two. Remember the cast rule. The cast rule tells us that sine is positive in the first and second quadrant. A and S, and it's negative in the third and the fourth quadrant. So our unknown angle has to be in the third and the fourth quadrant because this ratio is negative. How do we find out this angle, our first angle? Well, to do that, we'll use the special triangles, and we have a special triangle that relates one and two, and that triangle looks like this. We have pi over two as the 90 degree, 60 degrees and 30 degrees. We're working with radians, so instead of 60, we'll write down pi over three. Instead of 30, pi over six. The one across pi over three is the square root of three. The one across 30 is one, and across the 90 is two. So which of these angles, pi over six or pi over three, do we get one over two? 
Remember, sine is opposite of our hypotenuse. So the only one that will do that is this one, pi over 6. Opposite is 1, the hypotenuse is 2. Therefore, the reference angle, the smaller one, is pi over 6. And this one as well is pi over 6. To find angles, after finding the reference angle in the third quadrant, you take pi, this is for the third quadrant, and you add it to pi over 6. For the fourth quadrant, you take 2 pi and subtract it from your reference. This gives us two answers. Adding pi plus pi over 6 is 7 pi over 6. Subtracting pi over 6 from 2 pi gives you 11 pi over 6. And there you have it. The three angles for our equation are pi over 2, 7 pi over 6, and 11 pi over 6. That is how to solve trigonometric equations using identities, rating angles, and special triangles.